Hello there. And uh, we're back again. We have another one of uh, John's radios here, John Hoskins, at on the um, Superstar 3900F firm. Um, this is one of those Brazilian uh, bezels. This is what 75 quid's worth of uh, bezel looks like. Um, the insert, it's okay, but the text is, it's wrong. Um, but other than that, like, you can't, you can't fault the bezel, it's, it's fairly good. If you were to, I don't know if you can buy just the bezel on its own, without the insert, and, uh, you, you could have, um, you could have a very nice, uh, bezel there but they're not cheap you know so anyhow this yoke is here for the treatment and uh, we're going to set to now and uh, crack it open and very gently take the bezel off and uh, put it away where it won't get marked and we'll go from there we're about halfway here now on uh, John's mark 2148 Um, have the switches, yeah, I have the switches done and the uh, channel display is done and the two color meter, the two color meter is done. So I have to get the harness in now for the frequency counter, uh, get it tuned, uh, realign the knobs and uh i'm just waiting on the decal then uh waiting for a few now at the moment and uh this bezel he bought came with this decal but i'm going to do a video on on this on its own um a lot of chatter about these things on on the uh on the various groups and whatnot this is one of these ones from uh from brazil i think he paid like 75 quid or something including the shipping these um are being advertised as a 148 GTL DX bezel um, obviously they're not initially I thought it was a 3900 bezel but it's not that either so um, you can see there the switches they're hard up against the left hand side the same way as a 3900 bezel would be so much so that the, the switch action is, is actually being hampered by the, um, by the bezel so I'm going to have to modify this and move all the switches over to the right a little um, so that they'll be sitting central in the slots because I wouldn't be happy to let it out of here that way but as I said we'll do a video on that on its own so uh, there we are John so far so good and uh, nice radio and um, I fitted the frequency counter uh, jack to the back of it and I've come up with a different way of doing it um, when the lid is on it looks very neat so um, once get the back of this polished up now and the whole lot should look lovely we'll trim away that um, a bit of excess glue there we'll trim that away so what I'm gonna do for now um, is I'll get this wired up and um, that the counter will work and uh, we might have a go at tuning it then and uh, we should be golden okay so um, counter is now working I just did a preliminary tune just to get everything reading zero so that's lower side band upper AM FM CW uh, I will be putting a, a bit of um, diffuser and I've noticed this with these counters lately that the part of the two was obscured by the by the face and the last few of them I've had here are like that so uh, I'll see can I correct that um, but I'll put a bit of diffuser in front of it so um, you can run it on full brightness without having to wear a welding mask so um, it's in wired in all nice and nice everything secured and uh, 
and uh, just joined it in with the rest of the loom here for all the lights on the front so John Hoskins your turn on the bench again uh, as you know we were waiting for some stuff so here we are John brand new bezel looks good decal and uh, switches are nice and free well relatively free as they should be so let's give you a look around inside there's a lot going on in this radio so it's got the uh, backlighting UKFM frequency counter sockets and uh, all of that on top of uh, super low to super high conversion but uh, she's there now so all I need to do is get the lids on her and come back to you then there you go John Isn't she pretty? Just needs a final tune. Well, I haven't tuned it yet, so it needs to be tuned. And uh, a final clean. And she'll be packed up and shipped out of here on Thursday. You'll probably have it well back by the time this video is... Uh, is being viewed so uh, I hope you're enjoying it John in the future a um, lot of work went into this radio a lot a lot of work <laughs> there's a lot going on inside it and um, like I said the new bezel the Brazilian one uh, took a bit of jiggery pokery you now to get that to uh, to fit and get everything lined up and oh, I'm right pleased with it now looks good so you have your uh, focus beep UKFM 10 kilohertz meter switch is stock and uh, she's six band as well goes way down 25 8 whatever as I said, needs to be tuned. So, yeah. Happy days. So, um, here's the back. And you see how I add the counter socket there. So, nice and neat. No plate in this one, someone took it off. So, uh, yeah. Nice and neat on the back, so. Okay, so, she's all done, all tuned. And uh, back together, I, I dim down that. I know it doesn't look it, but it's so hard to film blue. Uh, that is less than, way, or sorry, it's way more about 70% dimmer than it was and uh, you know from back here now it's grand you know it's not it's not washing out the camera so uh, it's transmit radio is making nice power on the beep so I'm just using my test thing you see it swinging the mic uh, swinging here now Put on sideband she pegged the meter she tuned up really nice say UKFM have to be on mid band 
for that to work. So that's that. And uh, there you go. Came out really sweet. Nice radio. A lot of time. A lot of time. So, there you go, John. Enjoy it. Look after it. Have fun with it. And uh, thanks for sending it over. We look forward to the next one. 73, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.